The next thing we're going to do is add an announcement section. So how great is it that on the home page of our website, we can actually quickly and easily insert uh, an announcement section that allows visitors to our Google site or digital portfolio to very quickly and very easily see what it is we've been up to um, and what we've added to our portfolio. So we're going to go ahead and, and do that now. So if I choose edit page, I can choose insert recent post. So just watch for just a second. Uh, if I click recent posts, I get uh, this dialog box and this sentence here in red is something we need to pay attention to. It says you can only display items from an existing announcements page. Okay, well, guess what? We didn't create an announcements page yet, so we do not have an existing announcements page. So we have to go and do that first. So that's why I wanted you to just watch because we needed to take a look and see that we needed to do something else first. So I'm gonna click cancel and we're gonna go create that page. So if I choose save, I've got the new page button right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and it wants us to name our page. So I'm gonna call this recent announcements. If you wanna do just updates or anything like that, you can do that. Uh, this is really important. It says select a template to use. Most of my students, sometimes if they're just not paying attention or they're hurrying, they just type recent announcement and click create. But this has to be an announcements page. Just because we named it Announcements does not mean that Google Sites is reading it as an Announcements page. Google Site is actually reading it as a web page, and yes, there is a difference. If I choose the drop-down arrow, I see now, there it is, Announcements. Uh, that's what we're going to select, but I also have choices for a file cabinet page or a list page. We want to use the Announcements template, so make sure you change that. Uh, we can select a location. We're going to leave it at the top level. When we get to a later video about adding pages and editing navigation, we'll look a little bit more at this right here. I'm going to go ahead and click Create. Okay, now I have an announcements page. Now notice over here on the sidebar, we've got Recent Announcements added okay i'm going to go ahead and choose new post and we must give our post a title so i'll start by calling this updates and i will write my first announcement hey guys i've just created this digital portfolio to showcase me and my work. Hope you like it. All right, and then I just click save. Notice I can save a draft of it if I'm if I'm not done posting what I need to post, but I'm just gonna um, go ahead and click save because I'm done. All right, and notice also I can add comments down here and anybody you share this page with um, will also be able to add comments if you give them permission for that. Um, we're not gonna worry too much about that right now. So I'm going to go back to home and now I can insert the recent post. Okay, so I'm going to choose edit page. We want our recent post to be somewhere prominent, somewhere where visitors to our site can quickly and easily see what's been going on. So we're going to put it actually right here and it looks like, hey, we can't put it there because there's a Google slideshow there. We're actually going to move it down. So I can click in my um, box and just push enter. But if your if your Google slideshow goes all the way to the edge, you might say, my goodness, I don't know how to move that down. Uh, just put your cursor right in front of it and you'll see it blinking um, right here at the top left hand corner of that slideshow. And now when I push enter, it'll push it down. OK, and now I can come up here. And I can do my recent posts. So I'm going to choose insert recent posts. And notice it found my recent announcements page, which is good. And I can choose to post a short snippet, a medium snippet, or a full post. We're going to keep it at short snippet. And if there are any images, I can include an image, um, a thumbnail, meaning a small version of, of that image. I don't need that right now, so I'm going to leave that off. And number of posts to display, it's five, fine at five. Um, 
let's see, I can add an intro post if I want to give um, a little more information about uh, what it is that my posts are about. I'm not going to worry about that right now either. And then I can do a border and I can do the title of the page, which is recent announcements, which is what I want. So I'm going to click save. And just like I did with the slideshow in the video, I want to center this. Now, let me um, come back down here real quick because people might center their text underneath their videos. Um, I just centered this brief description here because it's not really full sentence. If you start writing like a paragraph, you're going to want to keep that left aligned so that it aligns over here on the left hand side. Um, you don't have to center your text um, on on this right hand column uh, if it's in paragraph format. So let's go ahead and click save and see what that looks like. And there it is. OK, wonderful. And notice I can view more. And if I want to add a new post, I would just come in here and choose new post. And now I can do another one. I don't want to do another one right now, but I'm, I'm going to click cancel. And then I'm going to go back to updates. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm going to go back to home. Okay, now if you're doing the digital portfolio, I got two things to say. One, the announcements should be related to your academic um, or you know athletic extracurricular um, activities. I've seen a lot of great announcements about things that students have added to their digital portfolios. Um, I have several students who um, are really exceptional like horseback riders and they announce like when they have shows coming up and if they won um, a ribbon in the show. Uh, same thing for gymnasts and dancers and you know soccer players and football players and baseball players. Um, th that's totally great to include um, because it's about you and your uh, individual like talents and what, what you're good at and what you really like what you're interested in. Um, if you create like this really cool video and post it to YouTube, you know, you could put that on your recent announcements too. It's, it's not a place for social commenting. Um, I've, I had one student one time, you know, announced that he was dating someone uh, on his recent announcements, and we had to have a conversation about how that really wasn't the right place for it. Um, this is not Facebook. This is your digital portfolio. So please make sure that the announcements you post are relevant to your portfolio and to what you're trying to accomplish with your portfolio. If you have questions about that and you're doing this portfolio series, um, you know, as part of school or whatever it is, then ask an, a teacher, ask a parent um, if he or she thinks it's appropriate to go on your recent announcements. Uh, the second thing I wanted to add is that um, we are almost done with our homepage here, but um, I, I do want to kind of fill this blank space in right here. And I'm, I meant to do this in the inserting text and images video, um, but didn't quite make it down this far. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And that is to insert a paragraph or two or three about your hopes and dreams. Um, hopes and dreams are obviously what you hope to accomplish for yourself, uh, what you hope for mankind, for civilization. For example, a lot of um, students, I think, put uh, that they have a goal of um, hoping in their lifetime that there's a cure for cancer. OK, um, if I come down here and click, a lot of times you'll still end up being in the cell where the table is. So I'm going to make sure that I click on this edge here, kind of like I did with the um, the video up here, the slideshow. And now I've got this big blinking cursor. So I'm going to push enter a few times and that just ensures I'm under the table. So I've already um, written my hopes and dreams. So I'm just going to copy and paste that into my portfolio. And when I say written my hopes and dreams, I do mean Emily Grace Rodriguez. So she um, has a lot of hopes and dreams. Uh, she talks about what she wants in school. Um, I think she wants to get in the best college possible. Uh, she loves science and technology. So she wants to study computer engineering. She also has some other goals of being captain of the soccer team to do a great job making this portfolio or website. She wants to become a better artist and make more friends. Um, she's practicing soccer skills and she joined art club. So she's off to a great start. And then she has hopes and dreams for the world. Like I was saying for civilization or mankind, um, 
Emily Grace is very interested in animals, so she volunteers at animal shelter. So she's hoping that one day there are no more homeless cats and dogs. Uh, she also mentioned that she would like for someone to find a cure for cancer in her lifetime. Um, her family has been personally affected um, by cancer, so that means a lot to her. And then, of course, um, she's got that she wants peace in the world, uh, no more wars. Okay, so this was completely up to you um, as far as what you want to put in it. Uh, I encourage students to put uh, short term goals, things they hope to see, you know, next year, a couple years out, or even, you know, if they're in school this semester, but also long term goals. Like, where do you want to go to college? What do you want to study? Where do you see yourself in however many years? Um, so that is. I believe to be a very important part of your portfolio. It helps um, people to understand who you are. So if you will, in your left-hand column of your portfolio, go ahead and add your hopes and dreams after you, you've done your announcements. Thanks for watching.